In Brockton tonight, investigators are trying to sort through the circumstances surrounding a fatal shooting at a party early this morning. The victim, just 16 years old. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is there tonight for us. Tiffany? Ken, I spoke with the boy's former football coach just minutes ago. He's identifying the 16 year old as Lee Montero, an athlete, a football player beloved by his teammates here in Brockton. We're told that Montero was actually at a party at this home along Sprague Avenue last night when gunshots rang out, and unfortunately, he did not survive. Agonizing cries outside of a Brockton home where a 16 year old boy was shot and killed overnight. So I came out and I'm like, what's going on? And someone got shot, someone got shot. Neighbors say gunfire erupted at a house party along Sprague Avenue. Guests scattered as police arrived. The kids were going crazy. Like, they didn't let each other go by. I was like, no, you guys gotta have to stop. And they're like, no, we gotta go, we gotta go. Like, they all panicked. One girl I know, she got shot, I don't know where. One person grabbed her from here, the other one the leg. I don't know if they took her to the hospital or what, but it was crazy. I, I see those cops here, the police with the flashlight, they'll walk around. Two detectives could be seen in the backyard, evident that a party happened the night before. A shoe, liquor bottles, and broken glass littered the roadway. Lillian Padilla says she's still in shock and feels for the boy's family. These kids, like... I don't know what they think about. I mean, 16, starting school, the mother. I mean, I can still hear her mother yelling and crying, and it was bad. And police are still searching for the shooter. The boys' coach says his teammates are taking this extremely hard. From Brockton, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.